Welcome Aquarius, I'm Juanita and we are going to be looking at what is going on for you over the next two weeks, okay, and what it is that you need to apply to your life to help you with that. Okay, so Sacred Light Oracle is what we'll be starting with and we'll be clarifying with the Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so Aquarius, let's have a little shuffle of the cards. And then we'll pull from these ones and shuffle the other ones as we go because otherwise we'll be here forever if I'm shuffling all decks and letting them all jump out. Okay, so first up we have Cathedral of Light. This is giving me mixed messages. Part of me feels as though there's something inside of you that's surrendering and yet you're positioning yourself so that you still have the upper hand. Hmm. Very interesting. What's the story here? Exhaustion. Exhaustion. There's something, I just want this other card to come out first. I feel, no, let me talk. Uh, there's something I feel, Aquarius, that you're trying to build. And you have all the right pieces to the puzzle. You're just, and you've been trying to put it together. And it's just not quite working. So what does that have to do with the Cathedral of Light? Stubborn attitudes, extending olive branch and artistry. So maybe this is about asking for people for help. So maybe you had an idea and someone tried to give their, um, tried to contribute towards it and you were like, no, 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 I can do it myself. I don't need any help, blah, blah. And now you're exhausted trying to get all the pieces of the puzzle to fit in and you kind of don't want to go... It's like admitting defeat, and you don't want to admit that <laughs> you do need help. Okay. Um, interesting. But I feel as though when... Because it's not really about admitting defeat, Aquarius, okay? It's about knowing, like, the wisest way to work is knowing when you need to stop or when you need to the assistance of someone else or something else. Okay, so this is about um, getting into this space of knowing that you are the master, you are the creator, as we all are, and coming into that space because right now it's like your ego is actually playing you and saying oh, you can't do that because you're going to look like a real egg. Um yeah, so I feel as though coming into that space so that you can actually... Because the thing is, there's, there's something you want to achieve and by not um, dropping the ego and going and getting the assistance that you need, you're not going to achieve it. You just need... It's like you things just need tweaking a bit, okay? Um, and it's almost as though sorry, with this one, if um, there's just one thing that's out of place and all it takes is for someone to come in and fresh set of eyes and see that and go, oh, do this and then everything else works, okay? Temple secrets. Secrecy, isolation, observation, ritual magic. Mm, not getting nothing. Oh, well, that's not true. I'm getting something done and dusted. But it's like you're, you know, Aquarius, you could be potentially working on this in secret and you don't want anyone to know because it's like, you know, standing there and you've got this thing in front of you, turn around and it's like, well, I've got nothing here. What are you looking at? 
type of thing. It's something that you're holding into yourself, holding to yourself. What? Beyond illusion. I feel like this is rising up. Oh, we have possibilities here as well. So rising above the situation. This is about you rising, being the bigger person. It's about you being the bigger person. Okay, and looking for different avenues as to how to approach things or how to combat things. Yeah. And it could very well be that you're trying to mull that over in your mind yourself and maybe talking to someone about it. Um, they may be able to give you a different perspective. Okay, um, holding it in is not actually something that is working for you right now. We have power of presence, a power struggle, unlock your potential authenticity, power of presence. So you're battling something and I feel like it's internal. It could very well be your past. Okay, maybe this is why you don't want to speak with anyone or let anyone know that you need assistance here maybe that's a past something in the past see we've got another eagle here see it there it's about it's about tapping into this it's about standing in your power aquarius standing in your power knowing that because the creator he's not going to try to manage everything as on his own okay he's going to go beyond the illusion that i can do everything because i am the master um and actually get the assistance that he needs and realizes that in order for him to grow and transform um that he's going to need to call on external sources in order to make that happen for himself okay um Yeah, and I feel like you need to break some old patterns of not asking for help for some of you. Um, yeah. Really stepping into your power. Like, really, really in a, in a way that is empowering. Okay, not just to you, but to other people as well. It's really interesting, Aquarius. It's so interesting because normally I'll get a flow of information come through, but right now it's just in bits and blobs. Um, so maybe you need to absorb, absorb the information as I go. But anyhow, what else for power of presence? Power struggle. Maybe that's a power struggle with someone else. Yeah, look at that nothingness, going into the nothingness, going into the space. So I was explaining to Capricorn, um, it's like going into this space to tap into this creator, this truth of who you really are, okay? In order to step into your power, you have to be able to know this power and access this power, okay? Um, it's not about being powerful or having anything over anybody, what it is, Aquarius, is you are looking at this on a device, okay? So you have your device in front of you, and then there is you. And in between this device and yourself is space. It is no thingness. There is nothing there. And this is where this creator resides okay this takes you beyond the illusion a bit like this eagle here who has risen above the terrain there's space in between but it gives him a clearer view okay i really love that going with the flow this is this is this is going with the flow um it's also a new beginning there is um you know a new beginning for something passionate Okay, it could be in love, it could be in career, it could be anything that is um, makes your heart sing, that you love. Okay, um, 
Crystal Kingdom slowing down. Yeah, which is interesting, which might be why I was getting it bit by bit. Because, yeah. Uh, materialism and psychic, psychic debris. Clearing the psychic debris so that you can get clear information through. Okay, tapping into that no thingness. Okay, letting this creator come through. Okay, to wipe away this illusion all right and um and, and coming away from the materialism of like so much in our life it's in our face to have this new thing and focus on this and do you have this and you know all that jazz that what the truth is is really within us okay within our heart the source which is who we truly are okay and you can find this in the nothingness in the space in this abyss kind of thing, like, I don't even know how to, I'm trying to explain it, but what happens is this then gets this exhaustion into something which is manageable for you, because the exhaustion right now is unmanageable, okay, so just surrendering and going with the flow and not fighting against yourself, okay, so let's have a look more at this crystal kingdom here, I just feel like this is going to make things a lot clearer for you if you actually apply this to your life. Even if you start with five minutes a day, just practicing, it might not come immediately, but you, you know, go and have a look at things on YouTube, meditations, whatever, to take you into the space of where it is because, because it is called for. Okay, and you want to know about this temple secrets that resides within you. Yeah. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got guidance. Yep. Listening to that guidance at the moment, you're turning away from it. There's there's assistance for you, but um you're either not aware of it or you're turning away from it, okay? Sharing sharing the fruits of your labor. Uh, sh because the thing is Aquarius you do have this wisdom inside of you okay you have this wisdom of this creator inside of you and it is something that can be shared so this is a way in order for you to access this so that you can share it if you are already accessing this then this is saying to share it with other people to empower people um, so that they can have it too not holding it to yourself okay comparison again see immediately i'm drawn to the space in between the trees we have two completely different trees here okay um and they have different abilities they have different truths but they are still trees okay uh they have different uses and they're not they're not fighting one another they are coexisting with one another. There's no power struggle between them. They appreciate what the other one can bring to this existence of this world. Okay, and they share the space. Yeah. Golden light ray. Love, I love this, that this is coming up because this lightens the energy, okay? Love and laughter, receiving and giving gifts, passionate projects. Again, this is about the sharing and this doesn't have to be material gifts. This could be gifts of your knowledge. It could be a talent you have that you teach someone else, um, you know, just out of the goodness of your heart or you exchange that. They have a talent. You might want to learn an instrument and they might want to, you know, um do something that you have you know available to teach them whatever okay this is really about doing things that that bring joy to your life that light your fire okay that ignite your passion within okay so let's just have a look sorry this is i'm not feeling i've got hold of these properly so i'm like i don't know if i want to take those so we've got rebirth here okay and what else do we have Rebirth, I love this card. I honestly really love it. I love that it's coming up for this too because it's, especially with the going with the flow, right? This is an opportunity for you to start something new and um, and what is it Wayne Dyer says? Don't die with your music still inside you. 
right? This lion here is always ready to roar and intimidate and scare. But instead, what's rising out of this lion is this music, this beautiful sound and this beautiful tune. Okay, so the lion is stepping into the power of who he truly is and allowing his light to shine, which is not what everyone perceives him to be, which is the scary, you know, vicious lion. Okay, and I feel like this is absolutely paramount for you, Aquarius, to have this breakthrough, to allow this light to shine, to smash through all the, all the, um, mechanisms that you have built around you for some reason to not allow that to shine and the thing is that um, by letting that golden light ray out because I feel like that's in you like this here okay you're going to have this breakthrough to allow you to go with the flow to let this new beginning actually take place Divine creation, I love it, acceptance, personal commitments, euphoria, this is you creating something which is this um, on your divine path, which is your your reason for being here pretty much, it's, it's kind of trying things out, and what is this like, and what about this, you know, you don't have to decide, you don't have to have the first thing appear to you and go, okay, that's it, Let's go with that. Um, you can try things out. You can try different things and see what works and what feels right and what does, doesn't, right? You are the creator, so you can create that. You might bring a heap of things together and make them work for you, okay? Not trying to force them together, but letting it flow together, okay? And I feel like that's a big thing for you, Aquarius, um, because of your mind being what it is, you think it so much, you overthink it, um, and it becomes incredibly like it does. It just does your head in a little bit. So this is where this having to, you know, needing to tap into this creator and this this nothingness and um, let go of this comparison to allow this rebirth and this breakthrough to actually happen. See the possibilities. Look beyond this illusion, you know, um, which is the mind. The mind is an illusion. It's it's there to to help you create, but it's not there to um, instill doubt into you and to instill fear and to, you know, this power struggle could very well be between your mind and your heart. And, you know, telling you that you can't do that, what's that, you know, that's not what people do, blah, 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 all that kind of jazz. You know, you know, you're an Aquarius, of course you know, right? Turning in, yes, yeah, see, stopping all this chatter from outside of you, whether that is external to you or internal, it's still chat, 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 chatter, okay? Unsolicited advice, you know, um, having a new vision for yourself because, for some of you Aquarius, Aquarians, um, you are in this box. It, it's like you've been shaped potentially by outside circumstances or outside, um, like you've had to conform. In a sense, partly that's from you because you've wanted to fit in to some degree. So you've conformed to fit in and it's it's actually, it's like wearing a jacket that no longer fits. It does, it's not working for you anymore. And I love that these have come up, especially the new vision with the divine creator. Divine creation, sorry. Because this allows you, you see, like I see these patterns here, these is, is you, you know, conforming to these, you know, and in the box you go, like, you know, this is how it, what it looks like, and you just want to stretch out and create something new, and a bit like this one here, it's like, I'll try this position, and now I'm going to try this position, and, and, and it's like trying it on to see what feels good, and, you know, for a bit there, everything might feel good, because you're out of the, um, You've kind of broken through 
these this this glass house that you were in which was going to break anyway because it's glass light activation yes because sorry before i start on this glass house you were feeling vulnerable in the glass house you never felt like it quite worked for you you never felt at home and you never felt like it was your place and you just felt like a fish out of water in that glass house so it's time to break that down and create your own um divinity your own divine life okay light activation evolution of spirit love that for you absolutely love that you are spirit you are the source you are the creator okay um and so this is about your evolution okay actioning your plans yes because you have it all in your mind probably a hundred th plans in your mind that you want to execute so you'll be able to actually start actioning these and trying what works never mind if it doesn't work doesn't matter you've got 99 other plans there that you can look at trying okay transcendence yeah and really being in this power again stepping into this power of who you truly are aquarius okay oh man i really love this and letting that light shine okay in all forms this is really cool i like this for you aquarius uh, oh far out sorry just be with me i'm gonna put all these back because there's way like that was about a quarter of the deck or something so we only want a couple of cards <laughs> okay there's one creativity yeah get creative get creative with it you know start to really blend things in um and look at how things can work together okay and dream big i want to say imagine the unimaginable right um because you look at this how you know there's everything is blending in together to become one and this is the thing becoming creative with that right remembering that you are you know as this creator you can get creative right you you are the master because here we have master of creativity okay and i just absolutely adore this for you i truly do this is more than a new slate this is not just a new beginning in your life this is a whole new you this is you stepping into your true power your authentic power and this is what i feel has been you've been craving for and that you may have felt missing in your life and it might have been like i just can't quite put my finger on it what is it and this is actually you and maybe Aquarius you've been trying to you know materialistically get something new and on oh, this and you know and I want this and then I'll feel right and then or maybe it's this that's missing in my life but it's actually you who's missing in your life yeah magical alchemy innovation ingenuity curiosity ahead of your time oh aquarius wow what a powerful card right next to the master this is you you're ahead of your time and it's time you start to embrace this and not letting your head fill with doubt okay start to really listen to your heart your intuition wow. tapping into the source of who you are okay this again is is letting this passion come forth what you truly truly want to do in your life to really let that come forth okay the silence if you're not sure what it is you truly want to do get into the silence okay get into this no thingness where nothing exists because when you have this it's like a, a blank slate you can create this picture out of this okay so really looking at that and going into that silence and tapping into it just letting that actually come forth rather than thinking about it 
feel it. Okay, and last we have well-being, self-preservation, service to spirit, youthful experience. Now, Aquarius, service to spirit. What is spirit? Spirit is source. Okay, what are we? We are a creation of source. Source resides in us. Okay, um, and this service to spirit is ultimately service to yourself, to your true self, to the truth of who you are. Your mission here is to serve out your truth. Growing this, growing this so it combines, right? Two trees here, growing, coming together, combining, creating. Yeah, I love this too because this is, you know, one on from this. Okay, we have a new beginning and this potentially could be in love or a new beginning at doing something you're so utterly passionate about. The, the, the possibilities are endless. Okay, these the only limits are the ones that we place upon ourselves. Okay. It, this breakthrough, you know, if, if you're in this glass house here, let this be a glass roof that you can rise through and break through so that you're no longer limited and you're no longer limiting yourself. Okay. Um thought there was another card that came out with that. Or have I lost it now? I've made a big mess of all the cards and I don't know if it did or not. No, I don't think it did. Okay, let's find another one. Well, I think it did. I think there was another one. But anyhow, maybe it wasn't the right one for you. Or did we have? I don't even know. I don't even know. I think, okay, we're doing one more. <laughs> Isolation. Okay. Getting yourself this out of this. Um, okay, sorry. It's kind of like, it's, it's sort of like this glass house. Okay, it could very well be an ice house that you've placed yourself in. Okay. You've placed yourself into this Aquarius and you've, you need to start releasing Any emotions that are keeping you iced in, okay? Because by releasing the emotions, this this is what this well-being is about, okay? It's not just pampering yourself, although that is one way to do it, for sure. You know, um, treating yourself, nurturing yourself and stuff like that, but it's also releasing what it is that needs to be released, okay? Going with the flow. When you feel emotional, don't suppress the tears because the tears... This person is stuck in this ice cube, okay, that they've placed around themselves. And the only way to melt it is to have their warm tears actually allow it to melt. Okay, so this is something that you really need to take on board because I do feel that this will help you significantly, okay, in, in actually taking care of yourself to, to have this creation happen because, man, I can tell you what, this is exciting. And, and you know, it's only one card. It just might be a little bit more healing that you need to do. Okay, but what really, really jumps out is this having to really tap into the truth of who you really are, Aquarius. Okay, and, um, and start to understand that and step into that power uh, in order for you to evolve as not just a human being, but also as a spiritual being as well. Okay, Aquarius, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of yourselves over the next two weeks, and, and yeah, good luck with that. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.